This is a Capricorn FM podcast. Let's continue talking. So let's go to that issue that we spoke about, celebrating the life of veteran award-winning actress uh, Kendi Muloy, who passed on on Tuesday afternoon. And she comes from a family of veteran veterans and pioneers. Um, and uh, she has been working in the media space for a very long time, a veteran. Uh, uh, she, so he, as I understand it, her father was the founding father and first voice of uh, Radio Venda, which is now known, of course, as Parapara FM in the 1960s. He was also the founding father of Radio Toyando in 1979. But her and her work, you have seen her in uh, the Sopi Mubango and in others as well. But somebody who has, she, she has been, of course, also in Guiani Land of Blood, the Shitsonga Sopi as well. But somebody who has worked very closely, even in the beginning, before it was fashionable to hear these languages on TV and watch people speaking these languages is another veteran radio broadcaster, that is Mr. Sidney Baloy, who joins me on the line. Mr. Baloy, good evening. Welcome. Uh, Ngabola, good evening uh, to you and good evening to your listeners. Good evening, good evening. And as uh, we we celebrate the life of uh, Kendi Muloy, who has passed on, I understand, of course, you have worked with her in some of your first radio and TV gigs. You worked with her and uh, you were introduced into the screen, into the public sphere, doing media work with her. Talk to us about your experience with working with her in the very beginning. Thank you very much, um, Gabon. I I was listening to your introduction, and you were quite spot on in reminding people that uh, Kendi Muloy came from a family that was, uh, you know, quite deep, uh, deeply involved in broadcasting, starting with uh, her late father, who was, uh, you know, the inaugural voice that was had on what is today known as Palapala FM. So many years down the line when she herself uh, took over the bait and, and got into broadcasting. I did have an opportunity of working with her on uh, various platforms, including advertising and, of course, television presenting. Yeah, and in, in, in TV presenting, the work that you did, maybe take us back there. What, what, what platform was it? What kind of work were you, you were doing working with her closely? Okay, in the, in the late in the late 90s, when it was becoming increasingly apparent that all languages would have to be given a voice on television, uh, Chivenda and Shitsonga being amongst the last to be given such an opportunity, there, there were some attempts at uh, the SABC to come up with a weekly magazine program that would look at the lifestyle of uh, communities that speak these two languages. Kendi Muloy was uh, the first person to be uh, approached by one of the executives of the SABC, and uh, she immediately uh, intimated to them that there would be a great value in including someone like myself, who would, of course, represent the Shitsonga uh, speaking community. And we we kick-started that program as both producers and presenters. So because it was the very first property to broadcast in those two languages, everything that we did, we knew that we were representing minority languages that had never had a chance. And to watch Candy in action, it was such a beauty. You would see absolute commitment, absolute passion, and everything that she did, she knew that there was a much bigger community that was looking up to her as a representative of their aspirations. Mm. Working with her closely, and even during those times, and of course you and her yeah. being people that are very eloquent in your own languages, what, what kind of a person yeah. is she? I've seen people are describing her as a person who was very kind. Yeah, yeah. She was definitely very kind, but you've just mentioned eloquence. Now, Candy spoke to Venda. She spoke her language like a sculptor. She spoke her language like a painter. She spoke it like 
a world-renowned artist. She just never opened her eyes and allowed herself to have words pouring out just for the sake of it. Everything that she said, she would mold it in such a way that it should leave a picture in the mind of the listener. She was very proud of her language. She was very proud of her culture. And she was very intolerant to people who spoke their languages half-heartedly. If you were Mutonga, you were Muvenda, she would always remind you that this is your language. Show some pride when you speak it. Show some pride when you use it professionally. She was very passionate. But what would you say is her legacy? I think her legacy is the fact that I posted something in one of the social media platforms earlier today. I described her as somebody who saw beauty in everything and saw beauty in everyone. And I said, anyone that has the ability to see beauty will never get old. Kendi Muloy was exactly that person. If you met her, smartly dressed, you would probably pass her for someone half her actual age. So her legacy is that she was someone who loved, who saw beauty in everything and saw beauty in everyone. Importance of media personnel and those that are working in the broadcasting sphere to... Uh, maintain and uh, the richness of languages in their use, and you indicated she was very proud, did not want anyone to use their language half-heartedly, but their importance in promoting these different languages. What role would you say broadcasters like her have played going forward? That is a role that perhaps should be maintained, but those that pick up the bent and, and run with it. Language is the most critical weapon in the in the game of power. Language is extremely important in the balance of power. That's why even people who, even nations who colonized others, the first thing they made sure they got right was to make the colonized to speak the the language of the colonizer. Because if you can do that, you have won the mind of uh, the vanquished. So Candy believed that uh, as a broadcaster, she should use language to empower people. And when she spoke her language, she knew that she was giving power to the speakers of that language. Because if you do not speak your language Mm. or you do not write in your language, what you are doing, you are advancing and enhancing the languages and languages of other people and yours remains dormant forever. So it's very important for people like you and people like me to make sure that we use our languages to empower the people that look upon us for mm-hmm. direction. Thank you very much, Mr. Balloy. I appreciate your time. I understand you, you are at the family and I'm going to let you go and continue with engagements there. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you. That is Mr. Sidney Baloy there who was sharing the experiences he has had, part of his journey with Kendi Maloy, whose life we're celebrating as she departs uh, to another world and uh, talking about her work, of course. And that will continue to be an area of conversation, talking about her work, what she has done. And it's important to, to acknowledge these veterans who have done a lot of work when it was very difficult, very challenging, when the platforms were not as open as perhaps they are now. That was a Capricorn FM podcast. For more podcasts, visit capricornfm.co.za